When developing software, the size of your crew is going to be usually about seven at maximum. And uh, this doesn't, this is not the same for object-oriented designs because in object-oriented design, you can, um, you can, you can, you can give, you can split up the project, you know, by the object classes and stuff. You can have people working on other objects. They don't have to um, work on the entire source code. But if you're working on source code that is an object oriented, it's going to be a lot harder to manage with the people unless it is object oriented to some degree. You don't need to have an object oriented language to have an object oriented program. You can do object oriented programming in straight C. In fact, the first C compilers were just C um, um, preprocessors. They basically took C and described all of the structure of the, the code in, in terms that a C compiler could compile it. My brother, he, uh, he's, he hates to use object-oriented languages. And the reason why is because he knows how to implement one. And he, he knows about the uh, method searches and things like that, which can actually slow down your code if you're not keeping aware of what the inheritance relationships are actually doing. So what he tends to do is he tends to write in C and he um, he designs his code in such a way that it is object oriented. He might use function calls that use pointers, but he, he'll probably make it so that the, the pointers are implicit in the variables so that he doesn't have to specify, um, he doesn't have to use pointer arithmetic or anything. He probably doesn't use pointer arithmetic at all um, because that can just ruin you. Um, if you if you're managing void pointers that's that's nasty but um but they're probably required if you need to do any kind of um of uh you need to share an object say among two classes or something i think they call them friends they have friend methods or something like that then you have to um then you'll have to probably pass the structures around um with void pointers um, anyhow, um, if you increase your, your, uh, development team, um, one of the drawbacks to that is, is that if anybody leaves the development team, it should be adequately documented what he did so that the guy coming in can train on the source code that he was working on. And, uh, so you don't want, you don't want it to be too small because then you end up with people that can become like bottlenecks or something like that. Um, they're the smaller, uh, the smallest you should have of your development team I've heard is about three, and the maximum is about seven. And uh, but you can you can have several different development teams. They just are um, are um, given. A portion of the source to work on. Uh, you should not have too many people working on the same, say, script because you'll need a revision control system for that. Um, otherwise, you will end up with um, missing features because some, one guy wrote, uh, edited the file, and then wrote it out, and then the other guy was happening to be editing the same file, and he writes it out, then the first guy's edits get lost. That's the reason why I use a revision control system is so that you can prevent such things from happening. The um, only the differences get stored, and uh, not the actual source file. And then you can you can use a revision control pro program to pull out a branch of the source at a particular set of edits or something. You can you can have a lot more fine control over it. If you don't want to use a revision control system, at least have something like a merging tool like um, WinMerge where you can compare source code and determine what you want to add and what you want to take out. Because what WinMerge will do is it will show you uh, using the diff program that is common to Unix and Linux. It will use diff to determine what the actual potential edits were and uh, major edits won't make any sense because it'll look like you're just adding a whole bunch of code. 
um, but minor edits, you can actually see the changes um, that were necessary to occur in order to make the source code work. Anyhow, 